Hello, this is Paul from Foster Tech. In this video, let's prove CRM 4.9.1. Row and the column spaces have the same uh, dimension. No matter how big the matrix you have, if you look at it, the row space and the column space, the dimension uh, is always the same. Let's see why. Okay, so first uh, I have to introduce the reduced row echelon because uh, the dimension is uh, just a link to the reduced row echelon form of the matrix A. Let's say, okay, so A by through uh, by row operations, we can get our reduced row echelon. And uh, let me set up N is the number of leading ones. And then uh, we can prove uh, and this number of the leading ones should be the dimension of the row space and the column space of the matrix A. Uh, first, uh, let's look at the row space. What is the row space of A? Uh, what the dimension of the row space? We look at the row space. And uh, we have a theorem before, okay? Row operation do not change the row space of A, right? Therefore, the row space uh, of A equals the row space of R. Okay, so that's the first step. Uh, that's the theorem 4.8.3. Okay, and the, the row space are the same, therefore the dimension should be the same, right? Okay, and the, what the dimension of the row space of a reduced row echelon? We do have a result before, which is theorem 4.8.4. That tell us the dimension of the row space exactly equals the leading ones. Okay, see, because n that's the theorem 4.8.4. Yeah, that's good. And so now we find the dimension of the row space and do the same way we can find uh, uh, the dimension of the column space also equals n. Why? Uh, column space. And we have another result, row operation. Okay, can you see? A go to R by row operation. Row operation will not change the uh, column, the linear relationship between the columns. Therefore, will not change the dimension of the column space. Remember that, okay? So let me put, okay? Uh, because A through row operation go to R, therefore the column space will keep it the same. Uh, that's theorem 4.8.5. Okay, and uh, the same. Can you see? We do have uh, the same result, which is N. And uh, because the theorem 4.8.4 uh, already gave us, uh, R is uh, reduced the row echelon, therefore the column space. Okay, the dimension of the column space uh, exactly equals the number of the leading ones. And then now we look at, uh, see, uh, the dimension of the row equals n, the dimension of the column space equals n, therefore we have the results. Okay, so um, both dimension has the same number, right? Equal dimension, so that's the proof. Thank you.